I need to shave again! I need another haircut! Ah! Welcome, Welcome to the Gamer, Gamer Man's, Man's Lounge. Lounge. Awaken, Awaken to play. play. Alright. Look at the hot cocoa. I got the hot cocoa going. It's not coffee. It's hot cocoa. Hot chocolate. Let's get that going. I, is it cool enough? Is it cool enough for me to sip off? Mm, I'm only just sipping off the foam. Man, New Year, 2022. All right. And I know you didn't come here to see me sip off hot cocoa. I'm beginning to. I'm beginning to feel it cool off. Alright, well, let's go ahead and... Mm. there. Alright, now that we're in the new year, it's time to start making predictions of what's about to come. Because, uh, you know, actually, as a matter of fact, uh... Boy, oh boy. I I'm pretty sure this is definitely gonna happen this year. And, uh, yeah, the situation here, it's gonna be a tough thing for many who are gamers. But, however, what's going to end up happening later down the line is... Uh, drum world suspense, baby! I'm beginning to notice this, and as, as soon as I'm beginning to notice this, I'm starting to really call it. What's going to happen later down the line in the year 2022 is that we're going to see people burn out from gaming. However, if you're new to gaming, I would wait a bit more. Because, yeah, there's the stock shortages going on from left to right still being more of a thing because of the chip shortages and whatnot. But, however, to be honest with you here, when it comes to the console manufacturing-related shortages, I would have to say things happen for a reason. And, however, the fact that... People are theorizing that it's going to be extended to 2023. It's giving me more time to just take a step back and read the room more. Because the question here is like, okay, say you're lucky enough to get yourself a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series console. I hate to break it to you here. The question you're going to be stuck asking here is what would you have to play for your next generation console? Alright, because yeah, you have the, co the console manufacturing related shortages, but however, you have the situation that's been going on even before the events of 2020. And there's this situation I would like to call a content shortage. Now, the content that you're going to be running into today are going to be, most of the time, blue balled rush job experiences that are probably going to paywall you up the ass with microtransactions. That's something I've been talking about in previous videos, and I've already talked about how the censorship campaigns are going to pretty much escalate in the year 2022. And probably 2023 should it continue to escalate in 2022. And as stated previously, creative freedom is a big damn deal. But however, if we don't start to get more of that variety that we used to have back in the good old days. Boy, oh boy, that's where we're probably going to see the burnout. We would see games, or actually we would see more variety in a lot of things. Game genres, stuff in games from left to right. Like, seriously. Like, let's just say you're, 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 um... You're horny, and you want something with fan service. Okay, there's those fan service have... Uh, there's those fan survey heavis. <laughs> <laughs> you would have those very uh, spicy humor games, where oh yeah, this sh you got a whole lot of edge lord shenanigans going on from left to right, and then however there's this, there's the fan service heavy stuff where you have like oh man big titty girls from left to right doing girl things and getting wet and all that crazy stuff, and then. Then you have all that come out of the... You, hear, you, you see where I'm kind of getting at? You have all the good old JRPGs, but then you have the WTF out of nowhere shit that you end up becoming curious for, so you end up getting a hold of for shits and giggles. And then you have the fighting games where you just have the badass motherfuckers like Ryu Hayabusa 
and then all of a sudden you end up falling for some crazy ninja girl or a samurai girl because god damn she fucking attracted and she, they fucking made her that fucking they made her that point to where you want to fucking act up like those are the variety this is an example of the variety that there used to be for games like back in the good old days and you fast forward to now and then you have those censorship campaigns and then you have those investors wanting some of that summertime clout holiday season clout and they're having you rush and they're having these people rush games and then you have like microtransactions that you would see in a free to play game but however you're seeing this shit in a $60 experience with a $30 season pass or let's just say a $70 experience with the season pass all right but, however, if you are an impatient motherfucker, I would start out a retro gamer, a Nintendo Switch owner, or probably start out being a mobile gotcha gamer. Or a mobile gamer. I'm pretty sure there's retro re-releases on mobile. Hell, there's a fucking mobile port of Trials of Mana, and there's a mobile port of fucking Bloodstained Ritual of the Ninth. Holy shit! Ironically, we're ending up having to basically go to those free-to-play gotcha games, especially Genshin Impact, because there's fucking great character designs, great designs. There's ga their games being more focused on being games compared to the premium fucking $60, $70 experiences we pay for. Because, you know, reasons. I, I don't want to... I've already talked about... I've already said this shit in previous videos. I mean, holy shit. The gotcha game devs have, like, way more fucking creative freedom than ever. And they just get it good. I mean, holy shit. Especially Genshin Impact. I mean, here's the thing. The female characters, you'll end up being attached to them. There's going to be times where you're going to end up, like, fucking uh, shrimping for them. Oh, yeah, I can't say that uh, S-I-M-P word because uh, Twitch doesn't like that. And, of course, when it comes to E3 streams or, or Genshin streams or new game expos, I would like the ability to basically go to those uh, things. It's not deniable, you're gonna need to get a hold of a gaming PC. Gaming laptop, gaming desktop, I don't fucking care. Get a gaming PC. Alright? Gaming PC, when it comes to PC gaming, games on PC pretty much diversify. You have, like, the early childhood stuff like Freddy Fish and whatnot. And then you have the E to T to M. And then you have the Super M rated, the AO kind of shit where it's like 18 plus, even if your computer's potato, you could play anything on fucking DL site. The visual novels too, you got the visual novels that are, and the visual novels are often very light on potato ass PCs. But let's get back on track. When you have the shenanigans, and it's not just the, the manufacturing related shortages from left and right, I mean, when it comes to the manufacturing related shortages, as long as you have a good old working PlayStation 4 or a good old working Xbox One or a Nintendo Switch, you're pretty much going to be good throughout. I mean, seriously. Because we got the fucking retro re-releases. You got the remasters. Okay. But, 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 but I'm not going to go ahead and deny it. Let's get back on track here. We're going to see gamers burn out from gaming. We're going to see people burn out from gaming pretty soon. And there's not going to be another situation where we're going to be strictly tied to our homes. Because reasons. Situation like what I just talked about just now. are Alright, because not even these kinds of situations is going to fucking prevent it. Alright. It's going to be inevitable. We're going to see, no matter what, it doesn't fucking matter. We're going to see people burn out. They're going to probably... Uh, we're going to see people burn out. Because seriously, it's not fucking helping that uh, we're dealing with games today being, you know, rush job blue ball experiences that'll probably pay well you up the ass with microtransactions, and yet you're paying like 60 to 70 dollars and there's a 30 dollar season pass and this is in uh yeah but you're getting paid wealth up the ass with microtransactions this is something you see in a fucking free-to-play game if game devs don't get back the creative freedom that they used to have that creates the more variety of games that used to be there back in the good old days 
we're going to be totally fucked, and indefinitely we're going to see that inevitable situation where we're going to see more and more people burn out from gaming. Why am I sweating? I mean, no, seriously. Um, I turn that fucking heater on because it gets cold because, you know, winter season. But then two seconds later, you're all fucking sweating like, I'm all sweating like fuck, I have to turn the heater off, and then it's gone to the point where I have to turn on the fucking AC or a fan on. Fuck is going on with this weather? I mean, call me a fucking, call me someone who believes in climate change. But seriously, but anyway, let's get really back on track. No, seriously, people are, people are just like getting fed up with how gaming is right now, and they're gonna fucking, we're gonna see a lot of people burn out from gaming, pretty soon. It's like, yeah, forms of entertainment, yes, video games, even the YouTube videos that we see, even music, even anime, it, you have to, it's, it's difficult, because it's difficult to utilize creative freedom w when you're getting jumped on by, like, people who would go on crusades because they want forms of entertainment to be more like random shapes decorated on a wall because this protects everybody's feelings, especially the feelings of people who probably weren't going to play Dead or Alive Extreme 3 anyway, and probably would go more towards the mainline fighting games rather than the Extreme spin-off series. But hey, I'm gonna say this, depending on your preferences from left and right, you're gonna be stuck playing those free-to-play gotcha games, like, say, uh, one of the biggest examples is basically Genshin Impact. A lot of gamers today are going to be like, if you think I'm going to pay 60 to $70, even fucking $50 for a game that's like blue-balled and fucking rush-jobbed and probably paywalled up the ass with microtransactions and something that would see, and if, and if I'm going to end up going to games like Genshin Impact, which is going to be a pain in my ass, hell fucking no, you can kiss my ass, I'm going to go fucking, nope. I'm out of here. Fuck this shit. Yeah, this is something that's going to end up happening later down the fucking line. And this is just me basically making this video to say, I'm calling it, bitches. Me, on the other hand, I, I, I do a lot of gaming. I highly do not see myself burning out pretty soon. I'm going to... I do see myself as someone who's going to keep the game going from left to right. Because it's what I kind of fucking do. But however... Not everybody is me, all right, and not and not everyone is me, and me is not everyone. You get the fucking idea. It's just I'm making this video just to make some predictions about 2022 and what I'm about to see happen, and uh, I'm kind of predicting more of a very. It sounds like as if I'm predicting a very bleak future, but hey, it is what it is. Here at the Gamer Man's Lounge. There's gonna be variety. There, there's gonna be gaming content, definitely, because Gamer Man's Lounge. Gaming content. But, however, we'll occasionally take a break from the games, talk about anime, tech. I mean, we'll go do some random things. Even fucking cooking shit, alright? But, hey. But, one thing we all know, here at the Gamer Man's Lounge, we will go wild. We're, we gotta go wild. We have to go fucking wild. Come on. But anyway, that's enough about me. That's enough about the Gamer Man's Lounge. This is, this is what, what's, what we're seeing happening to video games in general. Or what we're going to see happen to video games in general. That's what this video is all about. That's all, and I will be looking forward to you in the next video. Be, uh, that, that's all, and I will be looking forward to you in the next video. Peace out. Ah, oh, man. This, this hot cocoa is cooled down good enough to drink. Not too cooled down to where it's cold. Alright, I should cut the video off. Anyway, that's all. I, I will be looking forward to you in the next video. Peace out. This, this is, is nothing, nothing but, a, but video a video product, product made, made by, by a, a fellow, fellow gamer, gamer man. man. Ayo! Hey,